today, we are the Israelites. We got brothers and sisters walking by, just don't want to hear the Bible. It's time that we wake up and realize who we are. Give me John 8.32. Matter of fact, give me John 8.32. Let's read it out. The Bible says it's time to wake up. We got a whole bunch of wickedness going on out here right now. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. Read it. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. Come on. Hey, hey right here, bro. Let me ask you a question. You walking by. You believe in the Bible? Or you going to keep on walking? I know you hear this loud speaker. Read it again. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Give me Isaiah 30 and uh, 29. Bring it up. I think that's what I want. Isaiah 30 and 9. They, they rebellious. Give me Isaiah 30 and 9. Bring it up. Isaiah 30 verse 9. We read the Bible. If you believe in the Bible, listen to the words of God. A lot of us are rebellious as hell out here. Read it up. The book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. God say we rebellious to his word. God say we do not hearken unto him. We are the Israelites and we got to keep God's commandments. Y'all listen to this right here. Read. Lying children. Hey, bro, you got a cross on your neck. You believe in God? Do you believe in God? Listen to this scripture. Stop two seconds. You got time for God. Listen to this right here. You thank God a white man, don't you? I know you can read it. But this is a rebellious people. The Bible say we rebellious. You right here in the white shirt, bro. You right there. Come here. Let me ask you a question. You don't believe in the Bible? You a Christian? I bet you ain't a Christian. Cause you gonna run away from the Bible. Come don't run. Don't run then. Well come here, Pastor. Pastor. Come here. Two seconds. Pastor. You scared of the Bible, Pastor. Pastor. Don't be come talk to us, Pastor. Read it. Did you that pastor? He just ran away. The pastor ran away from the Bible. I can't believe this. Read it. But this is a rebellious people. Hey, bro. God say we rebellious to his word. God say we don't listen to him until we go through something. Like we get shot down or we go to jail. God say we don't listen to him until something bad happens to us. Read it. That this is a, that, that, that this is a rebellious people. God say we rebellious. We don't obey him. Read. Children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. We don't hear the law of God. God say thou shalt not kill. We kill each other. God say thou shalt not steal. We rob each other. We don't listen to what God say. And you know what? God is punishing us. God is punishing the so-called black man today. You a black man in America? You are not living up to what you're supposed to. You right there, bro. Listen to, give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Hey, right there, y'all listen to this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Start at verse 16, bro. Read it. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Come on. Cursed shall thou be in the city. God said we cursed in whatever city we go in. That's why you got gang banging. You got drugs being sold. You got low income housing. We do not obey God. Read it again from the top. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Hey, in the red shirt. Y'all come here. You right there. Come here. Two seconds. Come here. Turn around. Listen to the Bible. Read that again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Listen to this. Do you believe we blessed or you believe we cursed as a people? You right there, you a man. Are we blessed as a people or are we cursed as a people? Right. Why are we cursed? Huh? Right. L listen to this Bible verse. Listen to this. I'm glad you stopped listening to this. Cursed shall thou be in the city. God said we cursed in whatever city we go in. Why? Because we break God's commandments. We disobey, the, we disobey God's laws. So we got low income housing. We got gang banging. We got drugs being sold. We are downtrodden as a people. Read that again from the top. Let me show ya Great is my fall, let me show ya Don't know who you are, let me show Curse shall thou be in the city Y'all listen to this, y'all listen to this, read And curse shall thou be in the field We cursed in whatever city we go in Let me ask you a question, bro You right here, let me ask you a question You, what color is Christ? 
Jesus Christ, what color was he? I said he all racist. You say he all, how can a man be all racist? Come here. Did he die on the cross? The, the Bible say yeah. Let me say, oh, so you don't believe the Bible? Oh, let me ask you, do you, I'm asking you, do you believe in the Bible? If you don't, it's fine, because at one point, okay, let's do it at one point. How do we get from the land of Africa to America? How? Hey, how old you is? That's right, you smart. On the ship, read Deuteronomy 28, 6 today. Stay with me, all right? Listen, listen to this. That is a historical fact. Look at this picture right here. Hold this up right here, Matthew. Hold it up. You got slave, come here, bro. Come here. You got slave ships. You got people that was being sold. You got auction blocks. That is called black history. Hold that up high. That is called black history. It's in the Bible. Now you said we got from the land of Africa to America on ships, right? Read that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. God said we will go into slavery. Moses prophesied over 3,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, we will go into slavery on what? With ships. How can this be written in the Bible and we got historical facts to back it up? Because the Bible is a prophetic book, meaning God God said, if you disobey me, I'm going to put you through uh, slavery. If you disobey me, I'm going to put you through curses. That's why every time we go through something, that's the only time we call on God. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt with, again, with ships. And what happened to us? Say your name again. Corey. What happened to us, Corey, when we got out the slave ships? What happened? We became slaves. Did they sell us? Did we get sold? Right. That's a historic. Guess what, Corey? They make movies about that. They got movies like Django, 12 Years a Slave, Roots. Listen to the rest of this verse. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And thou shalt and there, and there, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. The Bible say, open your Bible, Deuteronomy 28, 68. We will be sold, 25, 35, 45, sold to Master Charles in Virginia, sold to Master Smith down in Baton Rouge. You understand the Bible is very real? Look, look at that, look at that for him. Point it out to him. Read it again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, what else? I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You see that, Corey? The Bible is outlining black history, brother. Yes, bro. Bruh, the Bible is talking about our history. Look at this. Look at these pictures. You got a woman being sold. You got a pack of black people in a like a room getting ready to be sold off. You got the slave ship right here. You got this brother, bring it down some. You got this brother who got beat, who got marks on his back. You can Google this picture right here and it'll pop up for you. Right. Give me verse 48. Deuteronomy 28, 48. I hope y'all listening to this. We went through slavery and it's outlined in the Bible. Alright? Read verse 48. And guess what? We had chains on our neck in slavery. And the Bible also says the exact same thing. Right. You keep thinking the Bible a fairy tale, God gonna shake everything up for you. Right. Listen to this right here. You listen to this right here too. Don't walk off, read. Verse 48. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies. The Bible says we will serve our enemies because everybody don't love everybody. That's why they walk around with blonde hair in their head and try to be like the white woman. Right. The white woman had y'all in slavery too. Right. Read that again. Read that again. Oh, we don't play no games. We don't play no games. That's read that right. again. Right. Therefore, thou shalt be. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies. Who who so sold us in slavery? The Chinese man. Who sold us? Exactly. That's right. That is a historical fact. Keep on reading. Which the Lord shall sit against thee in, in hunger and in thirst. We served them for food, for water, for clothing, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. We serve another nation for everything we want. In slavery, we had to go to them for everything. Food, water, clothing, shelter. Right. Read. And he. And they say, man, we go to for everything. It say, and what? And he. And what? And he. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What the Bible say? He shall put a 
yoke of iron upon thy neck. The Bible is talking about black history, but yet we never connect the dots. He just showed you out his own Bible. Show him verse 48. Show him verse 48. The Bible is outlining black history. Read it again from the top. Read. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger, we serve our enemies for food. And in thirst, for water. And in nakedness, for clothing. And in one of all things. Anything we want, we serve another nation. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.